Hey everyone! Today I will be teaching you how to use Teach Mode. We will start with the basics and go into the more advanced features. When you get on the Teach Mode tab, you will see three different pages. Community Lessons, My Lessons, and My Sessions. Now, My Lessons and My Sessions will be empty when you first get on it, but it will be populated with your login sessions to different websites and your lessons that you have taught Teach Mode to as time goes on. If you want to teach a new lesson, start by typing the URL that you want Teach Mode to learn from. In this case, it's x.com for me. Make sure that you're logged in and that your R1 is connected to the internet. In this case, I am logged in, so I'll press I logged in. But if you're not logged in in the beginning, please log in. Now we're at the teaching tab. When you teach a lesson, you'll be asked to enter a lesson name. I will do send a tweet and also a test description. Note that do not write really complicated descriptions in the text description text box. Instead, just do the simple thing. Send a tweet that says hello. Now we can start teaching. You can also change the description afterwards if you want. Now, for the recording log, you can see your interactions with Teach Mode. So when I press on the text box, you can see that here it says, click on the text box. Now I can say hello and press post. Here you can see that we offer additional explanation. This is really helpful if you want to change how you talk to people in a more flexible way. In this case, I would say, make sure it's always under 160 characters and send it in French. Now I will press process. Now that my lesson is processed, I can test it first by pressing replay. Instead of saying send a tweet that says tweet, I can say send a tweet that says I love playing basketball. I will simply press replay and see if it works. Note that I said always make sure it's under 160 characters and send it in French. So, this lesson will always send a tweet in French. Now that it works, you can replay it through R1 or through your lesson replays on the Teach tab, and you can see that that lesson is now saved. Now that we have successfully taught and replayed our own lessons, let's try to do something from the Community Lesson tab. The first lesson here says Add to Amazon Cart, so I'll try to replay this. Note that I've already logged into Amazon, so I don't need to press the login tab and log in again. The process is exactly the same as how you would do replays on your own lessons. You can also trigger community lessons by saving them and telling your R1 to use teach mode and add toothpaste to your cart on Amazon. Okay, you can see it's working there on the left, starting the replay. Just refresh the page. And there it goes, typing toothpaste into the search bar. I loaded the options. You can see it's still going there. It's gonna let you know when it's done. Now you see that it searched for toothpaste and clicked on the first option. And that is a result of the community lesson teaching it to do that. When it was teaching it to search for Amazon and adding it to cart. And we have successfully added to our cart. 
Finally, I'm going to teach you how to use teach mode to retrieve information and prompt the teach mode open from R1. To start, simply start by going to the website that you want to retrieve information from. In this case, it will be Twitter, and I've already logged in, so I'll start teaching the lesson now. I'll name the lesson Get Latest Tweet, and then say Get Latest Tweet from here the account can be substituted to any account. Now we scroll down to the latest tweet, which is this one, and use select mode. Now you see that with select mode, we have selected the span of text, and now we can process. Now that the lesson is processed, we will try to replay it from another account. And as you can see, it read the latest tweet from the rabbit Twitter account. Get the latest tweet from the rabbit underscore HMI Twitter account through teach mode. Let me take a look. Running get latest tweet from rabbit mine. Click the search field to begin typing the username. Fill the search field with the username. Click the button representing the user's profile to view their latest tweets. Read the latest tweet from the displayed user's profile. Contents. LAM Playground is now open for all R1 users. Order HTB slash Rabbit Tech. HTB Rabbit Tech. I have successfully retrieved the latest tweet from the Rabbit HMI Twitter account using Teach Mode. You can now check their most recent updates directly on their Twitter page if you need further details.